Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Padovich here. Wild night in the Midwest right now. Big storm system moving through the Chicagoland area. This is producing a lot of strong winds, large hail, kind of this little spin that moved over Chicago is now moving into central part of Lake Michigan. That's actually going to head into parts of um, Michigan as well as uh, northern Illinois. But the front itself that's moving east across the country is going to impact us tomorrow. So we're going to see a pretty significant change in temperature you can see right now it's 79 in st louis 23 in des moines 10 in sioux falls that whole frontal system is going to be marching our way tomorrow but tonight those temperatures are still in the 60s out there in fact new high temperature for the day is the current temperature of 65 so this is the warmest we've been all day and here it is 9 20 at night expect temperatures could actually hold steady if not go up a little bit more overnight now severe weather wise the risk is mainly to our north and west doesn't mean we couldn't see a couple of strong storms coming in here tomorrow but most of the energy is going to stay to the north so you know with these systems oftentimes people think the heat and the cold clashing is what causes severe weather that's just kind of the byproduct of a, a large frontal system moving in all the energy with this the jet stream energy um, basically all of the shear and there is shear trust me there's plenty of it is basically going to stay to the north we have everything's kind of parallel to the front so it's not really the setup for severe weather though i wouldn't rule out an isolated severe storm tomorrow the biggest threat for us is honestly going to end up being some really strong wind so let's take a look at the future cast i'm going to throw the current um radar and satellite and we're going to show you the future cast radar satellite as well as the wind gust these aren't sustained these will be the wind gust overnight so we'll stop this early tomorrow morning about 7 a.m notice the winds howling out of the south gusting to 25 but as we go through the day those winds will really pick up and the strongest winds are actually going to occur probably just ahead of the front and then right behind it so there's the front crossing the area look at some of these winds i mean you see these winds out of the southwest between 35 and 40 miles per hour and then shifting to the northwest on the backside. So this will be the line of storms and notice the time around four o'clock, but that the bigger energy is staying north. So this is probably just gonna be a line of showers and storms that produces straight line winds. Could there be an isolated tornado in there? It's a possibility, but I think the threat overall is really less than 1%. This to me is just a huge wind event with the front pushing through. And then you see it moving through and the wind switching around to the northwest now that's just part of the story the wind is going to be a big deal take a look at the temperatures i mean we could see temperatures tomorrow ahead of this front easily surpass maybe mid and upper 70s and then the front pushes through and the temperature is just going to tumble so watch this so tomorrow afternoon temperatures are surging into the 70s the front comes barreling through and then watch these temperatures by early thursday morning fall down close to the freezing mark if not slightly below so you're going from 70s to freezing in less than 12 hours in some instances so this is going to be a really dramatic setup so if it's trash day tomorrow for you like it is for me it's probably one of those days your trash can is going to be blown away so make sure you're checking on that early tomorrow especially right after um, the trash crews come through you're going to want to go grab that of course we'll have the updates tonight at 11 and have complete complete coverage tomorrow but be prepared right now the wind the wind the wind is going to be the big story unless and before i leave i'm going to show you real quickly just the wind forecast because i showed you the the look on the future cast but let me just show you the wind speeds overall to give you a good idea on this i'm going to pause it right about here tomorrow afternoon you see these southwest winds notice some of these winds i mean they are off the charts so when that front moves through don't wait for thunderstorms the winds will be strong enough even outside of thunderstorms during the day tomorrow